Welcome friends to another Stuff Station 1 review from my collection of random items across a broad price range. Items are showcased for their aesthetics, materials, manufacturing or downright quirkiness. Now today's product is a watch by Hamilton. Now Hamilton, uh, a very sort of prestigious company really, American based originally, but it's now been uh, taken over by one of these luxury goods conglomerates. The actual uh, packaging itself, okay, fairly nice sort of simple carded box. Okay, we've got the uh, flip down front. We also have the instruction manual that comes out of uh, a little opening here. Nothing too fancy there. We've got the uh, international warranty card, all of that sort of information. Uh, so that's the instruction manual there. The actual box itself, uh, nothing to really sort of write home about. Um, just a simple sort of uh, combination of polymers, cardboard, and a little bit of plastic here and there. Now, the actual piece in question is the Hamilton uh, car key. Now the car key has uh, been around for quite a while now and it's uh, one of those uh, models that's really sort of you know done quite well and has actually proven to be quite a good model for uh, the Hamilton uh, lineup. Now if we uh, have a look at the actual uh, piece itself we can see that it's you know a, a pilot uh, day date automatic. The construction of it feels really uh, well executed. Uh, it's stainless steel okay so that's the actual uh, uh, metal that's been used here. We've got a sapphire uh, glass to the front, 22 uh, millimeter lug width there. It is an automatic, so we can actually see the movement, okay, busily sort of ticking away there, and I'll talk about that shortly. Um, it's a 46 uh, millimeter diameter for the actual case. Now, the aesthetics is really sort of based on the cockpit you know, cockpit instrumentation uh, that you find within uh, aeroplanes and uh, this particular piece has sort of gone uh, you know a little bit sort of stratospheric recently purely because of its use in a recent film called Interstellar so and, and it sort of features quite prominently in there I'm not going to go into it in any any great detail about the film you can sort of check it up uh, yourself but the actual thickness of the piece it's around 12 millimeters there and it's a real uh, nice combo of stainless uh, of sorry brushed uh, finishing as well as the uh, polished sort of finishing so I really like that it's got a, um, a, a screw down crown there and the bezel is obviously fixed there so a nice combination of sort of finishes that they've used there uh, we can actually see if we look at the um, dial there, really nice sort of uh, sunburst blue dial there with uh, quite good sort of anti-reflection uh, coating there. We can actually see that we have uh, applied uh, numerals there that go in sort of five minute uh, intervals and that's been done really nicely and those uh, numerals are sort of brushed in their appearance. Uh, quite a nice sort of uh, triangular metal piece there at 12 o'clock and that's reminiscent of some of those uh, Flyger flight watches that, that you often see. Friends, why not subscribe, like and share? Also tap that bell icon. I put out content every week so your support would be really appreciated. The outer uh, portion of the actual dial it's separated with a minute track but then what's also quite nice is that you have this sort of like inner uh, hour track um, and that's actually really nice and one thing that they've done with the hands if you have a look that sort of cut out so when the hour hand sort of rolls through the actual numeral will show uh, be, uh, underneath that sort of cut out there so that's a really nice little feature there the loom on this is fantastic you can even see here it's had a very little sort of exposure to the sunlight and we can see that it's you know glowing there so in the dark it's even um, uh, brighter so the loom is actually really really good the hands are skeletonized as you can see sort of quite broad sword hands and it allows you to sort of see the uh, inner hour markers as I've mentioned we've got a, a day function there at 12 o'clock along with the uh, date there at uh, 6 o'clock so visually it's a really nice ergonomically well I feel a very nice ergonomically well laid out um, design there 
with some really nice touches with the materials that's actually been used. Now, the actual movement itself, it is um, an ETA 2836-2 uh, movement. And obviously we have the hours, the minutes, so the sweep second hands it's self winding it's got the uh, day the date function as well um, but oddly enough this particular um, piece has a power reserve of, of around 80 hours and that's actually fantastic it's quite um, long and I think what they've actually done is to actually reduce the uh, the, the oscillations or the, the the vibrations per hour there OK, uh, but what it does result in, if you look at that seconds hand, it's a little bit more staggered there, the sweep. The sweep isn't as smooth as you'd find at a, um, uh, on a movement that was oscillating at roughly around 28,000 or, or 4 hertz. So it's lowered um, uh, the oscillation count there to about 21,000. So all in all, a, a, a really nice piece. If we have a look at the actual leather strap, the strap is not bad. Um, it's quite thin, in my opinion. Probably would have liked to have something a bit sort of thicker and already it's had minimal use and there's a little bit of cracking that's happening there. So I feel that the strap could have been um, a slightly better quality. One thing I really like with the uh, Tang buckle is they've got the sort of the Hamilton um, H there as part of the actual, the, the pin system where we can see Hamilton has been uh, engraved on there and we also have a um, uh, the Hamilton H there in relief on the actual crown and it you know it really does feel quite sort of thin and but it wears really quite nicely I've got a six and a half inch sort of wrist and you can see there that this is actually sort of going on sort of quite gracefully and with that white stitching there it really gives it that sort of vintage retro sort of look so that was the Hamilton Khaki. I hope you've enjoyed the actual video. If you have, then please consider subscribing, liking, or having a dialogue by pressing some of the uh, buttons below. So many thanks and goodbye for now.